Hi, this is Tom Belmer. I am a SAS developer and a user for uh, over 15 years. I live in uh, Overland Park, Kansas, uh, right outside Kansas City. And I also uh, am the uh, content creator for the uh, blog called Can SAS Code uh, that can be found, and I'll have a reference to that later on. Uh, right now, I'm a business systems analyst for Wells Fargo, and today I was going to talk to you about Doxygen. Uh, it's a free third-party utility that can um, document your code, and I'll kind of go through the steps of how this all comes together and how it works. Uh, it is, a uh, again, a free utility that uh, parses your code looking for keywords. It, uh, the name is derived from a document, that's where they get the DOX, uh, followed by a Y, uh, and then the word generator, so Doxygen. It was uh, written in C++ back in 1997, and you can run this from a, from a GUI, or the, the GUI is called uh, Doxy Wizard, or from a, from a command line. Um, some of the keywords that are used as examples are brief, so at brief, uh, where you would supply a brief description of what your program does. Uh, at return is another example. What is returned from uh, the process for the program that you're talking about? Uh, there is probably 50 or so of these, but you just kind of get an idea that it's looking for an at tag uh, to pull information out. That information, uh, some of the, the settings are in a ASCII file that uh, is called doxy file by default, and it contains uppercase tag names that are separated by an equal sign. Uh, therefore, you know, name value pairs. So the output can be HTML, XML, RTF, things of that nature. Um, as you desire. Here's an example of some of the code, and I'm actually using Alan Bowe's uh, site, uh, which will be referenced in the end, so you can see a lot more of this content on a public site. So Doxygen first off looks for a slash and two asterisks as a delimiter to let it know, hey, you know, let's go ahead and parse this information. So there's an app file, and that's going to return the file name. At brief, as I've kind of described, what's you know here's a brief description of this particular program. The details, a little bit more uh, detailed information, with an example. Uh, at parm, so what are some of the parameters used in this particular macro? Uh, here's a version and the author, and then below that I show in the uh, the actual source code. So. This is what it'll look like once you, uh, as an example, uh, if you go to Alan's site, which again will have referenced on the end, uh, we'll show you in this instance uh, what's highlighted on the left in blue is revealed on the right panel. Uh, and it'll show you everything you need to know to, to run this particular program. And you can even click on, you know, go to source code of this file and if you click on it, it would show you the actual source codes and you can toggle between those two different things. Anyway, this would give you an idea of what it looks like, but it just makes a really nice interface to show you real easily uh, an inventory of, let's say, macros. What are its parameters? How is it used? What does it return? Um, it just, just a lot of information and a great interface. So. Where you can find the actual Doxygen that you can download is, is listed at the top here. Uh, Allen's SASJS macro library is the one in the middle. And as I mentioned, I have a blog called Kansas Code, which you can find more information here. Thanks for listening.